so it's all one conversation and when we perceive our reality to collapse into a state of being it's actually not happening like that it seems like it's collapsing into this state but in rea in reality in quantum physics now it's christian just told me that it's been proven mathematically that the observer and the observed are evolving independently of each other though it seems that the observed is is collapsing it's actually just what we're observing this is the part that, that got me the subsequent evolution of each pair of relative subject-object states proceeds with complete indifference as to the presence or absence of other elements, essentially saying that the observer evolves independent of what it's observing. That we are just changing in the moment. What we're observing is not truly what we're observing. We are just constantly in a state of all-knowing. It seems that like we're observing something, but we're actually observing everything. and it's all one conversation. Our surroundings aren't changing. It's actually always our surroundings, the same wave of surrounding, which seems different, but it's always the same. Our state that's of being is always the same state of being, which is why we get stressed out when we go to work, because we force ourselves to change our state of being and the, it stresses the body because it's not prepared to handle that. It's prepared to be what it is. Physically, we, we, we push against what's actually happening physically. And we suffer as a result. I thought that's an interesting thing. Multi, many worlds interpretation. Hugh Everett did a lot of formula on this. I don't see on this Wikipedia article where it's where it was proven mathematically or went like a month ago. Christian said like a month ago it was proven. Um, it makes sense. The observer and the observed aren't evolving together. They're evolving independently of each other but they seem like they're evolving together. So when you're looking into someone's eyes in the same room as you and you're talking to them, you're evolving independently of them, and they are evolving independently of you. And the observer is not actually part of it because it's all one thing. There is only one thing, which is why the universe doesn't have to be observed from the outside now. Quantum theory always dictated that it, there, there was an observer outside of the universe and it was jacking up the theory. It was creating a lot of paradoxes that there could be a universe and an observer outside the universe, but the universe is the observer. The observer is the universe. And there is no observed. It is just a universe of wave particles, of, of electrons, of, of strings stretching and bending, and that's what reality is. There is no observer other than what we are by we anything that is experiencing this that's to take the physics of it and try and put it to words that flow into the mind clearly it's worth reading but it can get a little convoluted if the person that's writing it doesn't have really good communication skill and this 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 explanation on wikipedia is actually pretty good took me a few times to read through, but then I was getting it. 